delays, driver shortages, strikes and cancellations have been in the spotlight this year. But in some good news for commuters on the northern Gold Coast, two new bus routes are now running daily in Coomera and Pimpama. It's part of a trial by TransLink until 2026, and it's something the state MP for Coomera, Michael Crandon, has been calling for. The new routes will run from Coomera Station to Pimpama City Shopping Centre and also the Pimpama Sports Hub. Michael Crandon, good morning to you. Good morning, Cathy. Good morning, listeners. You have been calling for these new services. How did you find out about it? Well, you gave me a call yesterday, Cathy. Isn't that amazing? Thank you for bringing it to my attention. I'm the local member for Coomera. I've been here as the member for 14 and a half years. And I had to hear from you on the day the buses commenced, that the buses were commencing. No pre prior um, advice to me. The arrogance of this minister is unbelievable. It's just mind blowing. And we only found out about it because super producer Alyssa only saw a tweet from TransLink. Is this the way to get the news out there to the Northern Gold Coast about new services? Absolutely not. It is absolutely appalling. Not only is it appalling the way they've, they've delivered these services and given us one minute's notice or no notice at all, to be quite honest, because they'd already started the routes before you even found, before you found out about it, um, but it's appalling the way they are taking so long to bring these uh, services to the Northern Gold Coast. I mean, I, I refreshed my memory on some of the statistics uh, and would you believe we now have a population estimated in 2022 on the northern Gold Coast of 92,000, up 80, up 5,000 from 2021. We're growing at 5,000 uh, people per year. It's just mind-blowing. They, they estimate by 2026, and that's relevant because of what you've just uh, said to me. This, is, this, by the way, is all... Um, uh, Queensland Government Statistician's Office, Queensland Treasury statistics, not mine. They come from the Queensland Government. By 2026, which is relevant because of the uh, trial ends then, we're up another 18,000 residents to 110,000. It's just, you know, um, since 2013, Kathy, um, we've gone from 10,200 kids going to school up here to 22,000 kids going to school in 2023. Yes, it blows um, your mind, the, the growth in that corridor. Right. The good news, though, of these new services from Coomera Station to Pimpama City Shopping Centre, as I mentioned, and also the Sports Hub, <laughs> what sort of a difference will that make in your electorate? Well, Cathy, two things. First of all, it's going to make a huge difference to people uh, that don't have uh, the capacity to get to the sports hub. That's a biggie. And, of course, to get to the shopping centre. Uh, that's another very important thing, to get to a, to a, 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 a major shopping centre because, of course, it's coming from Coomera train station, which you've got Coomera, um, uh, uh, Coomera um, uh, shopping centre there. But people in between those two that want to go to a more local shopping centre, Implement City is a, a great one. So very, very important in that regard. Um, but you know, Cathy, this is the first, apart from a minor change about three years ago to one of the uh, services in uh, the 722, this is the first change, as in the ones in February that were uh, upgraded and these ones now, the first change in a decade to the bus services on the Northern Gold Coast. The last time we had an upgrade to bus services, an additional bus service, which we added when we were in government, was in 2013. It's been a decade since the last one. And this is on a trial basis, TransLink says, until 2026. That seems like a long trial period. It is a long trial period. And can I just give you a little bit of, uh, um, of an insight, if you like, into that? Please. In my experience, if, if my, in my experience, trials end up being permanent, but more particularly with this one. If you think about what the destination is, it's going from Coomera Station to Pimpama City Shopping Centre. Right next door to the Pimpama City Shopping Centre is the Pimpama train station under construction. So really what this is, is a precursor to a bus service that will go from Coomera Station to Pimpama Station 
the long fought for Pippa station, by the way, are promised for us in 2017, not being delivered until late 2024, but nevertheless, it'll be there. So that's what this service is all about. It's about linking uh, Coomera station to Pimpama station in the same way that Beanley is linked to Ormo, Ormo is now linked to Coomera, that kind of thing. So that's how they run these bus services. They, they run them backwards and forwards between train stations and pick up commuters uh, and other, other people on the way uh, to and fro. So that's, that's really what's going on here. ABC Gold Coast, Michael Crandon is the MP for Coomera. Also on the transport front, Mr Crandon, the TWU says its members at Surfside Bus Lines will take industrial action this Friday over low wages, driver shortages. They say that uh, it will impact services from Coomera to the Tweed. Now, these strikes have been happening on and off since December last year. Kinetic says a pay increase of $30 per hour for full-time drivers and almost $37 for casual drivers was passed on earlier this year. What is your understanding of why this is still happening and how it can be fixed up? Well, I think it's 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 uh, supply and demand. Um, you know, they, they can't get, get bus drivers, so they're, they're um, the, the union is quite, quite right doing their job for their members. Um, who are under a, a, quite a bit of pressure. I mean, we, we have cancellations on a regular basis. Another one occurred the other day for, for my an elderly constituent here, Jill, who, who, you know, the bus just doesn't turn up at her bus stop. Um, but they're under pressure. Um, they need to attract more. They need to pay more. It's as simple as that. Look, it's a public service. Bus services are public transport. They need to provide public transport whatever the cost may be. They get a better recovery, cost recovery, on the Gold Coast than the, than Brisbane for the amount of money that people pay to catch the bus versus the amount of money that it costs to provide the service. It's a much better return. So pay your drivers, do the right thing, get the, get the um, uh, and get, give us some stability. At the end of the day, the community isn't interested in the bun fights that are going on. They're interested in stability and the knowledge that when they stand at a bus stop waiting to catch a bus, that that bus is going to arrive. Good to chat to you. Thanks for your time. Uh, my, my, uh, my pleasure, Cathy. Can I just say one more thing? Sure. Uh, there is, uh, we're still waiting on the upgrade, and it doesn't look like we're going to get it until 2024, for the bus services between Beanley Station and Ormo Station, and the one that we've been fighting for for the last 14 years, a bus service out to Jacobs Well. Apparently that's not going to be delivered until sometime in 2024, so that's frustrating as well for, for Northern Gold Coasters. Appreciate Thank you. your time. Thank you, Michael Crandon, MP for Coomera. Gosh, these